Welcome to the channel TechBase. You can get global latest technological news in daily video. Please subscribe this channel. Chips are the backbone of the technology industry. In the field of electronic products, it can be said that there is no soul without chips. Due to modern historical reasons, China's industrialization started relatively late, and the same is true in the field of science and technology, so it has been lagging behind in independent research and development of chips. With the development of science and technology, more and more smart products are produced. China knows that all smart products are inseparable from an important part, that is, the chip. Due to the relatively late development of the digital age in China, the research in the chip industry is not so good. In most cases, China's chips are dependent on imports. As a country with very fast development, one of the areas that the Chinese are least willing to admit is the chip field, because China's chip development started late, and the development speed is relatively slow. In the current internet age, without chip technology in hand, it is really difficult to move an inch internationally. Of course, the great rejuvenation of China should also be accompanied by the renaissance of science and technology and China will never allow it to fall behind in science and technology. After the United States announced sanctions on Huawei, a large Chinese technology research and development company, domestic Chinese companies were unwilling to be choked by others and made efforts. Now China's low-end chips can be produced domestically and no longer rely on chips from other countries. The core technology of chip technology is relatively weak in China, and the development of a new core chip requires a lot of manpower, material and financial resources. Therefore, in most cases, China relies on imports of chips for smart products. One of the countries with the strongest chip productivity in the world is the United States. The United States this country has always imagined that it will have a hegemonic position. They have dealt a severe blow to the technology industry of various countries in the world, and any industry. In recent years, China has developed rapidly in the field of science and technology, especially in the field of 5G, and China has occupied a very important place in the world. In the United States, when they found that their 5G technology lagged behind China, they began to launch a series of crackdown policies. One of the best developed internet companies in China is Huawei, and the United States has dealt a severe blow to Huawei. Coupled with the core chip technology mastered by the United States, China is afraid to develop in the high-tech field. At the beginning, because China started relatively late in the field of science and technology, it took too long to develop a chip. In order to make China's technology develop very rapidly, China chose to import chips from abroad, which can save a lot of time. Shorten a certain amount of time for China's technological development. In order for the United States to maintain its hegemony in the world, they are very strong in suppressing China's technology. First of all, since 5G lags behind China, they have already started to panic. It can be seen from their ban on selling chips to China. In such a situation where the Internet is developing rapidly, Whoever masters the core areas of Internet technology has the absolute right to speak. Since the implementation of the US chip ban, Chinese semiconductor companies have been severely affected. Many domestic companies are trying their best to solve this problem. 
Many of these companies are leaders in the chip industry. If they are restricted, they will lose a certain amount of voice in the chip field in China and internationally. As a well-known Chinese company, Huawei has also been greatly affected. There is another company, SMIC. SMIC is the largest chip foundry in China. When the United States bans imports, SMIC has no way to continue to supply Huawei. While the United States prohibited ZTE International from supplying chips to China's Huawei, it also prohibited TSMC from supplying Huawei. When TSMC produces chips, it needs a lot of advanced technology. The core of these advanced technologies is mainly in the United States. If the United States does not allow them to use these technologies, then they have no way to produce chips. If TSMC and ZTE International continue to supply Huawei, these core technologies will no longer be able to be used. From this point, China can see how important it is to have core technological strength. Then, Huawei and TSMC are trying to solve this problem. At present, China and the United States have no way to obtain chip supplies. After that, many semiconductor giants have begun to turn to European countries and Japan. Japan has also begun to turn to European countries to buy chips, but the United States has no place to buy them, because they have banned the supply of chips to China's Huawei and other companies, which has led to the problem that semiconductor companies in China and the United States are now seeking chip supplies. S Solution Under such strong pressure, China's Huawei companies have finally lived up to expectations, and they are also constantly resisting any pressure to independently develop their own chips. Ren Jingfei once said that China will not buy it, and China does not need to buy any kind of chip from the world, because China can rely on its own research and development to achieve self-sufficiency and can also provide 73% of domestic enterprise chip supply. From this point, China can also see that the development of national science and technology can really determine the influence of a country's international status. Thank you for your watching.